Traveling Kimchi here. It's the first day of July, which means it is time for our monthly favorites. So for my monthly favorites for June, I have five items per usual, but this time I actually have two makeup items I am suggesting. The first one is a lipstick from Sephora. It is color 5014E, which I know doesn't mean much, but it is this really lovely dark maroon dark red lipstick and I really like this lipstick because for me it's really hard to get a good shade of red that looks good with me because although um, I have a white skin tone I have a little bit of an underlay of yellow in my skin because of the Korean side so when I wear yellow it tends to bring out that yellow in my skin and make me look sick and when it comes to red lipstick it's hard to find that balance of color with it because if it's too light, it just looks really like weird on my lips, like pop out, and sometimes it ends up looking really cheap on me. So this is a great lipstick that has a, like a really good uh, balance of color on me. I really like it. If you are Asian or maybe you have that little bit of yellow pigment under your skin, try out this lipstick. It looks really good with black. The next thing I'm going to suggest is also from Sephora. It is the Sephora Crayon Contour Yux 12H. It's waterproof and I really like this because before this I was using a real pencil eyeliner and the thing about that is I felt like I had to go over and over again to get that darkness that I wanted or it didn't show up at all and I had to sharpen it or burn it with a, a lighter. So I just really like this because it came out nice and easy. I didn't have to go over my eyes and like feel like I was like penciling them to death. It comes out really nice, really strong the first time. Even though it is waterproof, I did have to apply it maybe twice throughout the day just because my natural blinking and me napping <laughs> wore out the eyeliner. So if you're looking for another eyeliner to try or maybe your eyeliner just cause isn't coming out as strong as you'd like, I would definitely suggest this Sephora Crayon Contour Eyeliner. So the next favorite of the month is a card game called Guillotine. Guillotine is a Paul Peterson game, the revolutionary card game where you win by getting ahead. This was actually a really fun game that I ended up playing this past weekend in Austin. I went to a board game tavern, bar, I don't know, but they had drinks. And this was one of the games we ended up playing and I, I just liked it so much. It was so easy to play that I, I just decided to go ahead and buy it. And I really liked it. It's two, it comes with two sets of cards. One is action cards and one is nobles heads. So basically different nobles heads are worth different points and you and your friends or whoever's playing are basically the guillotine person, the executioner. And you're kind of trying to collect higher point heads. So basically you get bragging rights at the water cooler. Like, oh, guess whose head I chopped off today? Marie Antoinette. Ha ha ha. But it's really easy to learn and actually the length of the game can go anywhere from 10 minutes to 20 minutes. It just depends how many people you have playing and how deeply you think about your next move. But if you're bored of Uno or Solitaire on your phone or you're just looking for a new game to play with your friends or your family, I highly recommend Guillotine. It is a lot of fun to play. The next thing on my favorites list is actually a company. Now, the first time I made the Traveling Kimchi business cards to have on hand, just in case you never know who you're going to run into or what project you're working on, I went ahead and went with the mass crowds and I got them from Vistaprint. And Vistaprint, really great quality, got them. I got $100 for $15. And they were really good quality. I really, I really liked them. I liked how they were printing. You know, great. But I ended up handing them all out at Acon in Dallas. And I was thinking, you know, I need to order more cards. I'm going to go to San Japan and San Antonio. I need cards to give out. So I started Googling other businesses to see if I could get a better deal. And I ended up discovering Got Print. And Got Print was a pretty easy website to um, maneuver through. And I ended up getting, with $15 worth, I ended up getting 500 business cards. And I got a little bit worried because I was like, man, well, you know, cost versus quality maybe I'm not getting the best quality anymore well when they lined up at my door they were just as good as Vistaprint and I got more for the same price so if you're looking at business cards maybe you're a blogger maybe you're a cosplayer maybe you're starting a business any reason you might need a business card I highly recommend checking out gotprint.com for your business card needs um, I think the default everyone goes to kind of right now is Vistaprint just because you hear more about it but Godprint has really good quality and for a little bit cheaper in mass quantities. So the last favorite of the month is this cool little speaker called G Project. So when I was going to Acon, I was looking for a small portable speaker I could take with me. One, because I really wanted to be able to play the music when I was making this video for Acon. And two, the speakers in my MacBook actually are broken, so if you 
kind of do with a speaker. Anyways, I was at Target looking for a speaker and I ended up finding this little baby on sale for about $15. I think it normally retails for about $20 to $30. But I ended up swooping it up and I loved it. It was so useful at Acon. People at Acon thought it was the coolest thing. And it's very, very handy. So basically it looks like a little uh, drum. It reminds me of Donkey Kong a little bit. And if you look at the front, there's this little latch that hooks up. And you can basically put, you know, a little rock climber's hook on it. And put that through and hook it onto your bag if you want. That's what I did when I was carrying it around. If you look at the top, there's the little drum where the speaker, the speaker is, and at the bottom, there's a little button for the on and off. At the back, there's a little port at the bottom where you can recharge it. It doesn't run on batteries. You can recharge it with the cord. And one of the coolest things was this little baby right here. This wire, I had it hooked into my cell phone, and it was great because my speaker was outside my bag, but my cell phone was safely tucked away inside the pocket. So I just thought this was really great, and I'm sure you want to hear the quality of these speakers. They're pretty darn good. So I'm just going to plug in the plug right here, and at the bottom I turn the button on. And you'll see it, the little light light up. And I'm going to start with it at its quietest. So you can't really hear anything, I'm going to slowly turn it up. taking it to San Japan with me also because I will be making another video so I hope you guys have that to look forward to at the end of July but if you're looking for a, a travel speaker something to bring to the beach and you don't want to spend a crap ton of money um, just something safe and easy it's not waterproof so that is one little downside but if you're just looking for something easy that's portable I would definitely recommend this so that's all the favorites I have for the month of June. I will provide any links I can below about any of the products you've seen here today. And if you've used any of these products, I'd love to hear your review about them. So post them below for other people to see if you loved it, you hate it, you were mad about it. Let us know. Anyways, this is the Traveling Kim Show, you guys. Have a happy July. See you guys next time. Bye!